Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6. We're doing stuff and things all at the same time. There goes Oracle to Wilfred. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so annoying. All right, I do need to kill you because we're about to send this trade route in reverse. Um, I just want this nice road. I could actually wait till the next city gets settled, but that, that doesn't seem great to me. So I'm going to go from there just to Sterling. Yeah, that's exactly what happens, Marge. Super new save usually play very easy and say passive till 52, till bombers. <laughs> hey, man, that's okay. That sounds fun. Bombers are great. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I mean, I know I need some kind of city over here, so whether it goes right on this cotton, I'm not sure. Um, but that's where I'm going to send out that settler. And then we have a uh, situation there to resolve. All right, need 11 era score. Currency will be some. <sighs> Actually thinking that this is our rare city. With districts here. Hi Sizemore, how's it going? I could also settle this and buy that tile, but it's going to spawn another swordsman. I can't solo that at all. We'll just die. This is such a big problem. Such a big problem. Try to expand. Haven't had time for campuses yet. I also don't mind the idea that we uh, lock them all in before uh, building them. It's best civ in the game? Either Peter or Cyrus. E either the Russians or... Um, Either the Russians or the Persians. Petrer. Did we just solve it with Petrer? <gasps> that's that's exciting. Maybe. Oh, currency was not era score because we already had Machu Tech. I very rarely get to the classic era on anything other than currency. Maybe we go that route. Marge, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you like Civ Six. We uh, we're we're sort of a dedicated Civ Six community when it when it comes down to it. That's what I've built everything around. So if you do need help with the game or you need some advice, uh, hop in the Discord. We can always help you there. Say anything you want in Chip, Civ Chat, and we'll we'll try to get back to you. I like Petrer, I think. So that's what we're going to go settle and work on. It's going to get pillaged again. That stupid farm. Just started playing this game this weekend. How do you speed up the movements in the game? I think you're talking about uh, quick combat and quick movement. You'll want to enable those.
You're welcome. Yeah, it's definitely a different game, Marge. Um, especially because like you are like planning to build things like on tiles versus Civ Six, you only ever cared about like working those tiles, or Civ Five, you only ever cared about that. So it's definitely a different game, though. Ten turns on pyramids. It's possible that we get those. First suzerain of Buenos. All right, what tiles did they get? No. This tile has iron on it, and we just gave it to them. Why did you expand there and not these tiles? I guess because the iron and they saw it. I guess that makes sense. That does kind of make sense. Um, all right, so I'm actually going to go a weird route. We're going to go up here. We'll see where we're at. We could work on an entertainment complex and try to get uh, Coliseum. I guess we can get archery now. I really don't want horses like anywhere, but especially on this tile. Policies are fine. Need nine more era score for a golden. I don't have the district. Well, I actually do have the district to place there. I don't have the population for it, though. And then they're about to lose a population, too. I need to chop out here. So I'm going this way with the settler because I want to see if I can grab information about those tiles. We do. Um, which means the city probably just goes here. And then it'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mines, 15 mines. Petrer, that's going to happen. I'm not worried about the food. We'll take care of it. There are lots of different ways to solve those issues. All right, if I can clear this, get the wonder, settle the desert, we should be looking pretty good on era score. Because the uh, end of the era just got triggered. I could move, I could go for Mexico City now. Although I don't hate being ecstatic at this stage. C.A. Carlson, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. What's the best science civ? Um, what is the best science civ? Probably Japan. I'm annoyed about this. Yeah, we might be able to culture bomb it back if that's what the Congress is for us. Got to find this golden age. I think I will. I'll, I'll give up our ecstatic status to go suzerain maybe Leventa. Because I don't want to give Mexico my uh, wine. Mm, no, I don't think it's I don't think it's Korea. I actually think it's uh I actually think it's Japan. Korea makes a case for it. Actually Wilhelmina might be, just because of her quality districts. Favorite way to win is uh culture for me. 
I'm going to go Laventa first. Ideally, I actually place it there. Oh, good. There's a catapult coming to help me. <laughs> Zachador, thank you for the 13 months, man. Welcome back in. I could maybe squeeze another city in there. Means good luck this time. I think it does. Zachador, thank you so much for the 13 months of support. That is awesome, my, my friend. Appreciate it a lot. Welcome on back. Now we move towards coast. So I decided to settle over one. Um, we we gave up two hills to do it. But I get to grab this jade faster from Nazca. I guess they have that tile, not these. Um, eh, is what it is. Probably should have probably should have stayed there. And then we will want these citrus, the citrus somehow. I actually moved away from an excellent district too. That was maybe silly. Oh no, I was never going to be able to get that. I do want someone to get that. So maybe the city, maybe I don't worry about these two tiles and actually just place the cotton city. Because that district's amazing. Good tiles. And then maybe I don't get the Citrus City. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could maybe come up here for eight. Possibly. Any Diplo games anytime soon? Who's coming up that we could do Diplo with? Um, I don't, none of these are screaming Diplo to me. Molly? Molly could be Diplo. Just buy everybody's Diplo favor. I think I need to get my campus before the end of the era. Even though we're running settlers. I need, I need one more after that. I think that's okay. Because then I'll get a quality era score. I can place there. I want this to be a theater square, not a commercial hub. I'm a little bummed that I moved towards the coast here, but... Oh, well. Live and learn. Get better tiles this way, I suppose. Jay Wonder, welcome back, man. 17 months. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, and welcome on back. So between the pyramids, between clearing this camp... And between our good one, our good district, we should have plenty of era score now.
Teddy got the Jeb. <laughs> got our archery boost. There's an arrow score. So we actually don't need all this. This will be excess, but I'd rather I'd rather have uh, be in a spot to get too much rather than too little. Still annoyed about that tile. Yeah. Regrets. Regrets. Six turns on the arrow. Oh yeah, first suzerain too. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, let's finish finish up our era with the, uh, the the pyramids. I think that'll be fine. He picked up that tile. It's wonder spamming like crazy. I do want to hit this uh, campus like right away though. I'm I'm going to I'm going to finish it. Not this era, but I'm going to finish it. Yeah, they're useful though still, Marge. There's a lot that it communicates to you. I skip through a lot of it because I'm pretty comfortable with the game at this point. This might be an uh, error score for an aggressive city placement as well. <laughs> nice, Johnny. Well, we still have bar problems, but we're hitting our first golden age. Yeah, we'll we'll delay the campus for next era. Don't worry. From the height of these pyramids, wonder number two. Centuries look down on us. Me too, Sacrador. I love Machu so much. It's disgustingly good. Pyramids gives us an extra charge on all of our builders. Gives us a free builder. Um, and yeah, that's fantastic. Oh. Right, because Leventa. So that pushes us over on era score. Which I think is quite all right. This might be an aggressive settle technically. So we might get some more era score here. I really need you to keep growing. And you too. Yeah, I've got a government plaza right here. Okay. I think we'll be all right.
Genghis got temple. I don't know where that guy came from. All right, two turns left, so let's save this. And apply that error score to the start of the next one. Oh, there's Coliseum, turn 80-something, so glad we didn't try to make a play for that. These barbs are the worst. They're the worst. All right, so next era time. I'm hoping Teddy misses a golden. He may not. This may wind up being a problem. But I know us being in a golden, because I'm sure he was in a golden on this one. We could have looked, but nice. Teddy's in a normal. We're in a golden, so that should uh, that should be fine now. Then I think. And in four turns, we can start the Petra. We're housing capped here. I need builders like crazy. We do have six faith. Six faith per turn. Why do I have six? Oh, Machu. Machu. You will not get housing from improvements that are beyond your borders, but you will get the luxury. Um... I mean, if I can get my, if I prioritize commercial hubs in this era, we could get a lot out of free inquiry. I'll probably try to settle in eighth city. I think this makes sense. So we want trade routes anyhow. So do that first. I guess we pick city center here. That's always the best. We'll just vote like this. City center and melee. Cool. So we get uh, two. Uh, we get two uh, Diplo points, which is good. So I need to repair this farm and get one more, and then we have our Feudalism boost. What a weird game this is. I 
Yeah, now we're only falling by 0.3 because of our golden, so we should be totally fine there, uh, especially when these both grow, which is about to happen. And in two turns, we can get started on this Petra. I got to plan that, by the way. Plan our cities a little bit. Cannot help you there. Cool. Um, that can just be our last farm. Solid loyalty here. All right. So is it worth it to come try to settle this? It's an okay city. It picks up silk. We have silk. I just don't know where my last city is going to go. Yeah, we could be friends with him. So, This is one, two, three, four. And Rur's so late, it could just go here. Watch me have uh, horses there. I'll have to replan this. So I think the safest spot for our Petra is just here. With uh, with with a theater square and a commercial hub, taking advantage of this as a major adjacency. Could also probably just throw their campus there. Plus three is good. Been going pretty well, Ordos. Pretty well, man. Now. If I do it this way, I get two Nazca lines. Maybe eventually that one as well. Seems fine. So Magnus is pretty much done chopping in the cap. We only have the one left. So why don't I move you? And we could chop out these for uh, Petra. Yeah, I don't really care about the theater square adjacency from Rur. Rur is so late. That it doesn't, that it's pretty irrelevant. I'd rather be able to do this. This is important because it, it puts the industrial zone in a district triangle. And so it adds an extra production on that. And then this will still be... Uh, I mean, I could reverse these as well. This will be plus three from the comm hub. Plus two 
uh, three, and then four, five. This is plus five already, so that's probably fine. Where's our last city going? Do we want like a coastal to pick up pearls? I wonder if we could have like a coastal St. Basil. All right, so Maggie. So I can chop this. Is that where I want Maggie? Or chop for Petra? Ah, eh, chop for Petra. And then Pingala to Sterling. I can't. I couldn't get here uh, because of barbs. If I were again beginning my studies. Okay, so now that we have mathematics, we should indeed tech horses. And I think I'm going to tech them first so that I don't screw this up. If there, if there are horses on this tile, we'll have to rethink this a little bit. And then I'll work on Petra. Plus I need some archers to deal with these stinking barbs. I need to get them a builder so we can repair that last farm. Muscat. I have an envoy. I could send it off. I'm not going to. I could keep moving um, Amani around. Oh, she's already all the way over there now. Wow, interesting. Look at these uh, this defensive mountain range, like how hard it would be to attack us. He said famous last words, Ingly. Sure. Yeah, keeping an eye on, on, on France, you mean? Or England dying? I mean, I can't really do anything about that. That's that's their own fault. That is what I'm worried about. All right, I need one more settler then. Don't want to sue Nazca. I don't want them taking my tiles. Um, so they're gonna get a tile. It it might be this. Do I really care? I mean, I do, but I don't have money. So they're either going to get this or this. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, well. <laughs> I will have to buy an archer here in a second, I believe. Candy. All right, horses. I am fond of pigs. Dogs. Ha! I knew I should. Every time you suzer in the AI loves to come right behind you and they grabbed this tile. And this city doesn't have a whole lot of production going on, so that tile's rather important. It really is annoying. I hate city states. 
and their borders. All right, horses. Got these three. There's an industrial zone. Okay, so Catherine has all the horses. Leventa has all the horses, and that's it. So none for us. And so I freaked out for nothing over these lovely district spots. Yeah, it's a very odd distribution of horses. I, I couldn't agree more. I shot an arrow in Killing Teddy's units, that's good. All right, let's get irrigation so I can start getting builders and plantations. I really need to repair this so I can get my feudalism boost. Okay. I gotta get that builder before feudalism. I really need to buy an archer over here. I'd really like to buy this. Maybe I just get their um, commercial hub. It does give me science. That's fine. And I think I'll wait on their buildings. I'm going to go right for this commercial hub for them. The day you found the f perfect f Petra city, there are over 16 desert hills within range. After you settled this city, you realized you had messed up. There were no desert plains. I've done it. I've done it. You only do it once. <laughs> and then you remember. And then you remember forever. My condolences, my friend. That, that, that is definitely a bummer. That's our first natural wonder in this game. Nice Earth Goddess going on for him. Thousands have lived without Smooth! Yo, thank you! Thank you so very much. Wow, that Oasis tile though. Super nice. A year already. Time flies when you're having fun. Moo, thank you Keep so much. Rocking there, GM. Thank you for the full year of support. So happy to have you back. How you been, buddy? It's good to see you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy anniversary and all that. I could still settle this. I wanted the elephants. What if I settle this and get an aqueduct? Then we would pick up elephants and citrus. Okay, and we can start our um, Petra now. I 
Yeah, isn't that a nice oasis? I like it. So Petra here is fine. Is there a better setup that I could do here? Yeah, this got haboobed for the extra production. Um, you can see the haboob up here too. That's why there's food. I need builders, dang it. Build a pasture. I don't want to. And you can't make me. Up there. Technically that. Can't build an aqueduct here? Why not? Why not? Wrong side of river? Oh, that's right. You, like, can't build them across. I mean, I can build it here. Yeah, I hate that. So we have to do this. We get a far worse commercial hub, but whatever. That's probably fine. Oh, and Teddy friendship. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Re-up. Well, we can, we can see. No, it says I can build it everywhere. I know aqueducts do have like weird rules. But it says I can build it here. Yeah, there is some weird like like stipulation that I've run into before. I'm like, why is that? But all right. This is a great spot to put a cut in the video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, please stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come drop a follow in person. Come say hi to us. Come come hang out. We, uh, we, we play these games pretty much every day, and we've got a hundred, like, a, like, like several hundred cool people hanging out. And how often can you say that on the internet? So thank you so much for hanging out uh, and watching. We will see you in the next one.